look at this, my friends. One, two, three, four, five, six players in the 18 that have been called up for some form of international duty. That sounds really impressive until you realize that, like, I called up a bunch of them myself. <laughs> All right, my friends, welcome in. Look at this table. We are not in first place, even with a game in hand. UCD has had a resurgence. 17 points, 5, 2, and 0 with a plus 8 goal differential. If we win our game, we'll be in second by a point. A bit shocking, of course, of, of course, because, because these things happen. St. Pat's had two points until they played us. Ha, uh, ha, uh, ha, gotta love that. And this is like, these are our starters. Except maybe D Benedetto. Like, and it, I mean, two penalties, it was just one of those where you're like, you just kind of throw your heads up in the air and you're like, forget it. Just forget it. So, started off on a pretty good run, you can see, right? Like, we, we drew with UCD, which I was okay with, except for the fact that we were up until the, you know, 61st minute. 3-1 and then we gave up a goal and I was like hmm and of course like, it's just one of those things like when you're playing your rivals like all of a sudden they get superhuman powers and they come back and they win it or uh they equalize I should say um we beat Shelbourne 1-0 in extra time now this was a bunch of rotation like the 17 year old keeper played the full 120 um was a bit nervy lots of yellow cards but you know we got through we, we got through my friends we got through um we beat Limerick 8-1. I'm sorry. I know we have Limerick fans in the comments. They had a sending off in the 17th minute. It was already... or Had we even scored by that point? No. So his teammates will completely blame him because we absolutely <laughs> battered them. It was... I felt bad. Um, and that's why our goal differential, even with a loss, of course, is plus 15. Because we got plus 7 in one game. Um, but we've been doing well. It's just one of those things where it's like, wow, okay, UCD, how you doing? Like last year, UCD finished in sixth and they have come out swinging, you could say, like popping people in the mouth. So, um, I'm not going to show you the Iron Brew Cup, fine. like none, none of this matters. Like we'll, we'll come back to Cabin Tealy when we get to the uh, Champions League draw and figuring that out. In the meantime, my friends. Wait, I want, wait, wait, wait. Is there anything else I need to show you? Just, you know, you just check these things, right? What? Look at all the international. That's crazy. That's crazy, my friends. Um, today, we're playing Cape Verde. Or is it Cape Verde? I, I should know. I'm sorry. Um, they're not ranked very well. They're 67th. We are 44th. And then Israel approached us and said, hey, you want to play an away game? And we were like, sure. So 74th. Um, so with that being said, my friends, we have called up. And you can see I've set... Um, uh, friendlies throughout the year, right? Like, I'd rather have one and have to cancel it, um, because of competition stuff than to have something like this, where we just had an international break. We played one game, right? That was my bad. So, learn my lesson. I, for each of the windows, we have at least one friendly booked. Um, and we may can't, I don't, I'm not sure if these are warm ups to the Euros. It's, it's been a minute. So, uh, that, that's what we get going on there. And as, as you'll note, you know, tropical Island in the Caribbean away game. They're 80th in the world. It's fine. It's fine. Um, but since these are all friendlies, you know, a little bit more of an experimental squad, you could say. So we still got Gavin. He's wanted, which is good. Take it, man. Take the transfer. Beg for it. He has had nine starts and four substitute appearances, 17 goals conceded, three clean sheets on the 664 for Man City. Not the best, you could say. They're currently fourth. I'm going to say it's not his fault. I mean, he conceded 17, though. Um, but we also called in Derek Convery, who we had already called in, but he's playing. So I'm, I'm trying to emphasize, dude, you're playing. You're going to, you, I'll, I'll bring you back in. Um, I wanted to rest uh, our goalkeeper because he's played a lot, like Cabinetillo's goalkeeper, Janadu. Uh, but he's 15 starts, 21 conceded, 6-8-1. He's in the championship. You know, he's 21. We've already cap tied him, so that's not a problem. And then we've got Kelleher here, who is also playing in League One. That's not as good for Hull City. My goodness, you're in League One. 
it's March. All okay. They're t uh, how? I, I just want to look how how close to the top of the table are. One point, and it's 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 close, my friends. It's close, but it's like, hey, you're playing, you're actively playing. You're pretty good. He kind of reminds me of Boston in that like there's a lot of good green here and there's a couple things that are like eh, but like he's a good enough goalkeeper. But again, we're trying to let, let's get this guy some exposure. Maybe help him get a better move because he's he's with Sunderland and and a hot prospect. So help out his career a little bit. Michael McGuire and Will Shaw are you know there's no one else, so they get to play right back. Connor Masterson, Connor Kelly. We have dropped uh, uh, a demo because he's not playing at all. Like, he has, like, two substitute appearances. So, Masterson and Kelly right now are kind of our starters. We have called up Frank. Even though, right, like, maybe that's a bad idea because it's not a competition and Germany's going to wake up and, and I don't think they're going to steal Frank. I don't think he's good enough for Germany, right? He doesn't have all the technicals. But he's good enough for us. Um, and Jimmy McGrath. And that's because Jimmy has 16 starts. Again, not great, but he's in the championship. And it's like, okay, we're, we're trying to... Have a, a, a range of ages in the squad, right? You've got your 29-year-old here and then kind of 26, 24, 24. Like kind of, you know, maybe Connor's kind of the leader here. Um, Kevin O'Connor on the left with Dean Doyle. Um, we dropped the uh, Lee O'Connor. Was he the other left back? He wasn't playing as well. And Dean Doyle, I think, is his determination is dropping, which is not great. But the rest of it is all good. All very, very good. And I think, again... Technicals need to work on it, but he's 21. So getting him that international exposure, you know, let's freaking do it. Jake Doyle Hayes coming in. Martin O'Neill. We have um, put Callum Thompson in. Just to, you know, it's been a minute since we've seen him. So welcome back. Only eight starts on a 6-5-7 in the championship. Not great. Um, Josh Cullen is there as well. He may actually start the first game because it's the more difficult of the two. We may just do some of that there. Um, I've called in Gary Gleason. Uh, for his first, I mean, not cap tying cap, but first, like he's capped at the under 19 level and didn't have any under 21 experience or nothing. He's just kind of been out there and he's played really well, right? He's got 7.6 on four starts with a goal and assist. He's got some champions league experience. He's 25 and, uh, you know, you got Steven Seddon who great, you know, but not playing like has not played. It's March has not played. Has played in a bunch of whatever, under whatever, under 20s or whatever it is in England with West Ham on a 6-8-7. It's just like, really? Really? I mean, his concentration is a 6. That's not great. So, we've called him. I mean, look at this. He's got 6 caps and 5 goals. So, of course, we've called him in. And again, this is more like shop window, right? Like, let's see if we can help him get a move. Adam Ida, um, Eric O'Connor coming into the fold. You know, just a, I mean, he's making nine grand a week. That's kind of absurd, to be honest with you. Five starts, five subs, four goals on a 6.92. This may be too much detail and you may not care, but I'm just trying to walk you through my, my, this is why I've done this. David Doyle, only good for 45 minutes in the first game, according to his um, manager. Um, you know, he needs more starts. He's making 28 grand a week. Three starts, seven subs on a 7.2. Looks quite good, Celtic. You know, I'm just saying, you might play him. And then Troy Parrott and Ryan Cassidy trying to, you know, develop that partnership a little bit. Troy Parrott, 7-7 seven and seven in the Premier League with a goal on a 6.7 on loan from Tottenham at Middlesbrough. Um, and then Ryan Cassidy, 25 starts, 2 subs, 10 goals on a 7-0-4 for Watford. So, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. We don't have anybody aside Kevin O'Connor over the age of 30. Um, because Hendrick retired, Shane Duffy's still there, but like he's not playing for. He's with QPR now. He's not playing, and I, I, he was actually recommended to be uh, somebody that we we picked up. And I was like, nah, like it'd be cool, but I'm not paying. He wants like five grand a week. Like I'd rather develop our young guys, you know. Um, so that's what's going on there, my friends. Um, we're just gonna do. Yeah, we're going to leave it like this. Maguire on attack, Masterson Kelly on defend, Bazunu on support, Kevin O'Connor, Cullen, O'Neill, Doyle Hayes, Gleason on support. I've switched the sides because they're footing. He's right-footed, but it's not right only, which means he occasionally can use his left foot poorly, but better than Parrott. So Parrott's going to go on the deep line forward because he has better passing. Cassidy on the attack. Um, maybe that gives more room for Cullen to run versus if the deep line forwards here, they run into each other. Maybe. And currently, my friends, just an update, we are 44th. 
Remember, we have that, you know, seven in a row, even though it included two friendlies, unbeaten. Let's go for more, right? Oh, do I start the guy at 89%? I think, yes. It's a friendly. We've got all kinds of subs. It's fine. It's fine, my friends. Oh, the sound's off. They're playing a 4-4-2 four, four, double DM, my friends. They've got people with, like, pictures. Okay. We're favorites for a reason, boys. Of course, we got we got some managers wanting us to go 45 on Masterson and Jake Doyle Hayes. So I guess, I guess we'll honor it so that they, you know, we'll release them the next time for an actual competition. Just let them play, you know? Like, maybe it takes them 60 minutes to get into the flow of the game, you know? I'm just saying. Oh, we are on attacking. Did I mean to be on attacking? Sure. Let's see how it goes. We should, you know, right? Like, we're 44th, they're 70, whatever. We should be able to score here. Kevin O'Connor! Oh, Cullen! Offside. Right. Yep, they're definitely, you know, setting back. You could say, Dale Hayes. I, I don't know, maybe, I, I, you know, anytime I record something like this where we're playing, like, two theoretically subpar teams, I go, like, is this of interest? But, like, to me, this is part of building the nation, right? Is like, we are building up the tactic, we're building up the player base for the national team. Oh, that looked good. Um, and so I want to show you games like this. Like, if we end up drawing and it looks ugly, then we know we still haven't solved all the problems. And you may be going, it's like, yeah, because you're playing a 4 3 one, two, you have any wingers. Fair. Fair. So Doyle Hayes has come off and Masterson has to come off. Great. Um, do I say, hey, you've been doing all right? And I mean, it's we got 13 shots, six on target. I'm going to say keep, keep playing the way you've been playing, right? Like, hey, Kevin O'Connor, what we can't do is win with 10, okay? All right, so Masterson needs to come off. We're going to do Jimmy McGrath. Frank's a little, little tired. Ms. McGrath is right-footed, yes. Kelly is left-footed, so that's good. Doyle Hayes. We're going to have some, uh, some Thompson, I think. Perfect. It's, it's like I planned it. Which I didn't. Um... And we're going to go talk to these guys. I believe in you, mate. Go make a difference. Now he's a, he's not motivated until you talk to the teammate. Not perfect. Now, if we struggle to break this team down, that's what's going to be concerning. Actually, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to put Gleason on attack there, lads. You can do that. Come on, mate. Complacent. How, you have not scored a goal in a friendly against a team that is significantly worse than you, and you're complacent. Things that irritate me. Jimmy McGrath was there. It comes back in. It's in the mixer. Gleason pings it with his left peg, and it goes just wide. He's trying to show he wants it, though. Oh, no. Are we going to... Oh, no. That's offside. Oh, that would have been in. That would have been a quite the goal. Dangerous set-piece action. He's off your tackles, mate. Well, this is just perfect. Um, No one's done anything. He's much better. Well, you know what? Let's just do complete forward. I don't know if you're supposed to do that. Who cares? Um, Gleason playing a 6.4 is not exactly lighting it up. Do any of the other guys... We could bring on Seddon. But the, I think we're going to try mixing it up a little bit. Let's have Woody. I mean, I know we got co complete wingbacks. Maybe he should be an inside forward. Maybe that's a bad idea. Hold on. Hold on. Let's, let's not... Let's, let's 
let's do smart decision making here, my friends. Again, we're not it's not a cap tying game. And I'm going to demand more. Are we gonna draw? Oh come on, boys. Don't get set off. Oh, it's oh it's off the post twice. It's off the post twice, my friends. From the shot and the clearance. It's, it's not not the best. Ugh. Mm. We're out of midfielders. <laughs> I'm going to make him an inside forward. We're going to take off. Uh, O'Neal, because he's probably going to play in the next game. You just do automatic, because we're going to bring this guy in. Because I don't want attack, you know, like they're going to run into each other or something. How about we slide you over, create some space. You know what? No, no, let's go for it. Let's freaking go for it. We're going to go very attacking. You know, if this is like a... Oh, I didn't mean to click that. World Cup qualifier, we'd be pushing, right? We'd absolutely be pushing. So, actually, with that, we're going to put O'Connor on attack as well. So, he's going to be cutting inside. He's going to be coming that way, right? Go make a difference. Doesn't care. Can we get a last-minute winner here? Ugh. David freaking Doyle, my friends. David freaking Doyle, okay? That's what I'm talking about. All right, you go back to automatic. You're more defensive anyway. Oh, we're all out of sorts now. There we go. This is what originally I had the idea of. It's like having... You know, take a midfielder off, bring a winger over. Uh, yeah. Looks good, my friends. That's what I would have done, right? Or did I forget to take it off very attacking? I did. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, right? If, if you got to think, right? This is, this is, quote, just a friendly, guys. But if we're trying to get a win into the World Cup against a team that's parking the bus. All right, this is like the, 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 oh, okay. Josh Cullen, hello, sir. You know, the classic, you know, the U.S. men's national team coming into the Gold Cup plays Jamaica and Venezuela and gets blown out and looks horrible against Venezuela, which is not what you want to see. So it's like, okay, they're going to sit back and counter and whatever. Can you break them down? Can you have a, a formation switch? Can you have that person that comes in and makes a difference? That's what we want to practice, pra you know? You play how you practice. So we're going to take these situations seriously, and we're going to yell at people if we're not scoring. It has taken the full 92 minutes, or whatever it was, 89 minutes to, to get the first goal, 92 to get the second. We had 33 shots with no chances created. Not, not ideal, but at least we had 13 on target shots. That's like almost, I had some bull more than a third, I guess. Something like 40%, something like that. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> Come on, referee. Pinto. So do we start the young goalkeeper? I don't think we do. Well, okay, hold on. Let's look at the stats. They had four shots, one on target. It's not like he was busy. I'm going to say I'm very happy because we got the win. I'm very happy with David Doyle. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, my friends, we are going to hop forward four days, come back for the Israel game. Let me know what you think. We'll see you then. So this is weird. Take the momentum into our next UEFA Euro Championship qualifying game. 
But the qualifiers are over. What? Now it's six games one in a row is a record. But again, they're... The friendlies really count for that? I mean, I guess they'd throw it up on the TV as a stat, I suppose. As is the eight games unbeaten. Gotta love when you get updated instructions. It's like, they want everyone to only go 45 minutes. Like, well, hello? Like, you can't decide that in the middle. Give me a break. All right, my friends. According to our team report, Israel plays a 4-5-1. So they are going to be super compact. So here's what I'm thinking. We're going to see if we can draw them out by playing a lower line. Leave this a slightly more direct and higher tempo. Oh, how about this? There we go. We're going to be positive, but that way like we're, we're drawing that line out so we can kind of hit them over the top is what I'm thinking. It seems risky to change it like that. Um, so we've got Cassie Parrott. We brought in Steven Sutton. Dole Hayes is going to go 45. O'Neal is going to go 45. Thompson comes in for Cullen because he's got 4% more physical and Cullen's going to have to sub in for one of these guys. We'll figure it out. Um, and then Maguire only goes 45. McGrath, Erich, Dean Doyle. So we got the partnership for Kevin Teal here. Bazu uh, Gavin Bazunu is going to start in between the sticks because we would like to get him a move to Bournemouth. That's to be the starter, please. Um... Adam Ida can only go 45. Doyle can go 45. Eric O'Connor can, can sub and go full 90 if we needed into. So we've got options. It, it wasn't as bad. You know, once you look at, once you remember that you have six subs, it, it's like, okay, we can sort this out. It's it's not as devastating. But you see what I'm saying? I'm hoping these guys will all get drawn up and then we can kind of ping it over the top um, on the counter. I'm expecting you to win. Why are you confused? Why are you confused? I just want to sub him right now. I don't... Uh, what? Why are you confused? <sighs> he hasn't played a game this year and he, he wins that. He's Matt Sharp. Love it. I mean, he's playing, I guess, under 23 games or whatever. A ball comes in. Ben... Hyphen Simon. Ben Simon. Collects it easily. But we're only three minutes in. We got that low line. We should be there. Yes, Maguire. Okay. Did he make that run all the way back? Wasn't he the one that crossed that in? Parrot. Whoa. Gets around his man. Gets it to Steven Sutton. Plays it to nobody. Pings it out wide. Dean Doyle on the run with his six crossing. Gets it to Troy Parrot, who finishes. Dean Doyle gets his assist. Yes. Dino. Dino. Let's watch it again. Just because it included Dean Doyle. I'm telling you, he's the left back of the future. Is it a thing in a lot of countries where, like, finding a left and right back is a challenge? In the U.S., it's like a massive, like, wait, do we have anybody that plays left back? Oh, cleared off the line at the last second. Um, and so, when I look at this, obviously, we'll... we'll what, what? A bruise knee. He's fine. Um, we got McGuire. He's a great right back. Doyle's okay at left back. Shaw is okay at right back. O'Connor is okay at left back. We don't have any, like, absolute monsters aside from McGuire because he's that good. So is that, like, a common thing? I, I don't know all the rosters all over the world. We've injured a man. We've only had five shots. They've had seven. Maybe this low line thing's a bad idea. Oh, he punches it free. Cap Thompson... Okay, Doyle, is he going to get another another assist with his six crossing? He plays it back to Edich, who plays a long ball forward to Thompson, flicks it on, it drops into the box, nobody's there. Dean Doyle is tracking back, though. He's going to play it to Edich. No, no, he plays it to O'Neal, finds O'Neal, who's going to turn and find Doyle Hayes, who's going to get to Seddon, who's going to back. Okay, Maguire on the run, but he couldn't get to it. Maguire drops back. We recycle possession again. Here we go. Higher, higher tempo, my friends. Plays it forward, Parrot. Cassidy takes a touch. Goal. I mean, he didn't take a touch. I don't know why I said that. Smacks at home is what I should have said. Or was it where he picked out his, his spot? Well, wasn't so much of a smack, I guess. Did that deflect off the center back? 
kind of hard to tell. This is what you want to see. I know it's not great competition, but you want to see your strike partnership do something. And they've each got a goal. And now we've got to go. Before we do a talk, I'm just going to go ahead and look at all my subs. I need to take off, bring on, so on, so forth. Um, Eric O'Connor, are you left or right foot? You are right only. Great. Two right footed only players. Excellent. Excellent. He's more of a pressing forward. We'll try that. Sure. And that way you can go play your advanced forward. You know? Don't say I never did anything for you. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba uh, you know what? We're going to do this because we're going to take McGuire off and bring a Will Shaw, and he's not that attacking wingback kind of player. That's a risky shape, isn't it? It's kind of like a 4 2 3 1. It's just a little more congested. It's going to put a lot of pressure, I think, on Doyle and Edich. We'll give them a test, my friends, and see how they do. Uh, I should have brought probably one more midfielder because he's at 72%. But, you know, things. Keep it going, lads. Hey, you new guys. Welcome. Let's, let's keep it up. Okay? Okay? What's Shaw got? He's feeling the pressure. But he shouldn't... He, he's not having to play complete wing back, right? So he's got the winger in front of him. He just needs to connect some passes. That's all, you know. We're just working on the uh, the connections there, right? Eh? Don't ask what the, what the accent is. I don't know. Dean Doyle kind of gets it away, but not really. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Top of the box. See, we want to test Gavin. That's what it is. You know? Gets, I mean, he's had 10 shots. Two on target. They've had three half chances to R2. That's not ideal, you could say. <laughs> Berkovitz. They're on the attack, my friends. Is it because we're playing deeper? Yes. Oh, goodness gracious. See, this is what we don't want to do is lose this game. So... Let's go back to how we were, maybe. I know I've already missed kickoff. So my changes haven't gone into effect. That's great. That's great. Kick it right out of bounds. Fan freaking tastic. I mean, we are away from home, so maybe playing a attacking like that's a bad idea. I don't know. Shaw plays it for Parrot. Can he get past his man? No, he can't. Good positioning by the center back there. Nobody out wide. We got Doyle. Doyle. Hello, Doyle. You are the left back, sir. Stop dropping back. Start making an impact. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Things are fine. Not panicking yet. Yet. <laughs> Anytime there's a highlight now, it's like, until we get another goal and we have a two goal lead, I'm going to be nervous. Eric O'Connor, play. I don't know who that one was going towards. Hello, get the ball. Look at the ball. Was that Witty? It could have been McGrath. M McGrath. <sighs> Little center back disaster felt like we were about to have there. Oh, come on, guys. You got to win that ball. Shemesh comes down. He's going to... No, he's not going to crack it off. He... Oh, that's a good ball. That was a good ball. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> we're going to take Anna Chat. He's on a 6.5. He got his debut. Bring on Connor Kelly. Let's, let's stabilize some things here. Uh, O'Connor's on a 6.5, not exactly lighting it up, you could say. I'm not unhappy with Anders, right? Like, it's his debut, right? Whoa, a mistake by the keeper! Troy Parrott finishes. Does, does Dean get the assist for that? I don't think he should. That was a keeper mistake. Right? Like, he did touch that. O'Connor plays back. Doink. That is not an assist. I'm sorry. That multiple things went wrong there. And uh, that's not an assist in my in my book. Not by a long shot. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else we need to do? I, I don't want to I kind of want to bring on the, the keeper, but you know. 
And I want to take Troy Parrot off, I guess. He's on a brace, you know, or, or a hat trick or whatever. But we do want to get uh, Adam Ida an opportunity, you know, like give him a chance to get out there. And we're going to do this. We're going to bring on Gary Gleason. He can't. Oh, no, we're not. I lied. That was a, it, it was a lie because we brought on Adam Ida. Ooh, that's fine. Thompson's not played, you know. Hey, man, you you want to be on the national team? You gotta you gotta you gotta tough it out. I should should have whoop should have uh, said tighten up. I guess they've gone four two four. Oh no, oh no. Oh, flicked away. Nice, Stevenson. Ida. Okay, wins the ball. One on one with the keeper. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? He's gonna get blocked. It's not that's not impressing me, sir. It's not it's not impressing me. That, offside. That's two offside calls in a row. Great highlights. I guess it's because of the end of the game. If we get out here with a 3-2, again, you look at it like this allows you, if, if this was real life, as the manager said, like, you you should have done better there. And I'm proud of you at the same time because you came back to get the winner. So, I mean, in the game, I'm going to say, well done, that was a good win for us. But in reality, I would have been like, you almost lost that to a team ranked significantly below you. Right? We are now 43rd. And what was it? Israel 74th and 67th. Did they win a game? Or did they go? No. They just played us. So, you know, kind of, an, I, I, you know, I, I think this is interesting because it's the national team is, you know, hey, it took us a while to break down a team. We scored two goals at the very end of the game. And this, we come back against a team that's worse than us to get the winner at the end. You know, you, you take those things from it, right? Um, Parrot inspires win. Gleason pleased with the win. Ireland find their rhythm. Is it going to say something now that we, like, every time we win, we've broken another record, you know, win record and all that kind of stuff? Surely it should, right? Ireland duty ends. Blah, blah, blah. Buoyant mood. A buoyant mood, my friends. Is it not going to say anything about the number of wins in a row? It did the last time. Wouldn't it be the same thing? Apparently not. We have John Smith with Wales. Obviously, our guys. Dean Doyle was in excellent form. Let's look. John Smith on a 6.5 in 45 minutes against England. But it's against England. I mean, fair. Erich didn't have the best of games. Witty came on. Was largely disappointing. Dean Doyle looked in fine form as he sliced open the opposition's defense with two assists. You know, if you only read the papers, you didn't watch the game, you'd be like, yeah. That second assist wasn't really an assist, my friends. Um, all right. Next time you see us, my friends, will be Jamaica and South Africa because I want to say the Champions League draws in there somewhere. But we're gonna play these two games again. I maybe there's some Euro. Hold on, 2024. Uh, we weren't in the Euros. How about 2020? Okay, maybe not. Maybe maybe it's Euros. So. It's currently, like, the draw is in April, so we're not there yet. So we'll see what happens with these games. But that's what we'll bring you back for next time. Hit that like button. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.